we have a treat. We just got the bands in not too long ago. Uh, they were sold out for quite a while. Thank you guys for ordering them and we apologize for the ones that didn't get the bands, but thankfully they're back in stock. So if you are interested, they are here and ready to purchase, ready to ship out. And we also have another treat. We've been using the bands, of course, in the program and anchoring them with our power rack that we have here at home. But unfortunately, not everyone has that available. We've been recommending maybe if you have like a J hook that you can put in a stud above, but not everyone wants to put a hole in their ceiling or their walls or anything like that. So we kind of brainstormed a little bit and thankfully we have a solution. It's a little door anchor, as you can see. There we go, the Buff Dudes logo on there. Um, and it's awesome, you can anchor the band to it and really do anything with it. So that's what we're gonna be doing today to show you how it works. And we're super excited, so hopefully you guys are ready. Let's do it. What the buff dude's dreams are made of right here. <laughs> okay, it's time for the workout, and it is the final day of stage two, the beginner stage. I'm excited because it is upper body day today. I think this is gonna be a good one. I'm ready for a pop, how about you? I'm ready. Let's do it. <laughs> we got the anchor, we got the band, we got the door. Now, we chose one that opens away from you. It's gonna be an extra safety precaution, so that way when you put tension on the anchor, there's no chance of the door opening towards you and that wouldn't be a good thing. So, I'm just gonna put this little knob there, right in the middle of the door, close the door, make sure it's closed, and all of a sudden, oh yeah, that anchor's nice and tight. We're gonna be wrapping the band above, since this is a pull down, the first exercise, and yeah, it's obviously gonna be working the lats. It's kind of mimicking much like a pull up. Um, you're working the lats, the rear delts, the biceps, but, Obviously, you can't do it in a standing position, so we're just going to take a seated position. And here we go. Let me pull it straight down, keeping that body vertical, getting a good squeeze, those elbows nice and far down, like you're putting in your back pockets. Oh. Depressing your shoulders at the bottom position, slight elevation at the top. That's what's really cool about the pull downs is they can be amazing teaching tool, especially if you're really trying to learn the form of a pull up and also gain strength in that motion as well. Cause I know Michaela, we've done some videos about pull ups that you try to increase your strength and pull downs was one of the exercises and tools that you can use to increase the strength in your back in your pull up and really just get down the form and function of it too with the, the shoulder um, elevation and depression, really getting the elbows in the right place. Make sure you're pulling with your back and not just your arms. So yeah, looking good, babe. <laughs> just got done with the vertical pulling motion, the pull downs. Now we're gonna go on to more of a vertical press uh, exercise, which is gonna be the incline press, which is really working the upper chest, the clavicular portion of the chest here. And as you can tell, we move the anchor from a uh, above position for, to a below position. And we're gonna be wrapping the band around the loop. And it's gonna create two loop ends, um, just a grip. And we're going to be in a seated position here. Far enough away so when you lean back on the door, uh, you're a little bit more at an incline rather than a straight up vertical position here. So just kind of laying back just a little bit, supporting your upper back. And you're gonna bring the bands just like so around over the top of your arms so you can press straight up uh, just like so. And this is now going to be really targeting the upper chest area. Of course, the front delts and the triceps are gonna be working a secondary motion there with the extension of the elbows. And oh, you really do wanna to try to retract your scapula, much like we say many times. And that's really gonna help focus on the chest, make sure the chest is doing most of the movement there and the shoulders are very stabilized as well. Ooh, bring it down, get that nice stretch and then press and squeeze the top, full range of motion. And of course with the bands, you're a little bit more difficult the more they stretch. So that top posi position is really gonna feel difficult and get that good squeeze. Yeah. Ooh. Done with the incline press, feeling really good and pumped. Now it's on to a little bit more shoulders uh, intensive exercise, which is gonna be the upright rows. Now there's two different ways you can do this, really. I mean, there's many different ways. We're gonna show two. Uh, one is you can just use yourself as the anchor, your feet as the anchor, which we've done this a lot in the past videos. Just get a wide stance on a band and grasping the other end with your hands there 
And you're gonna pull straight up in the upright position there, elbows high, and you get that nice squeeze in the traps and also the deltoids. Now, if you want, you can use the anchor, of course, which is still set up and uh, in the low position on the door. And with this, you're going to wrap the band around the loop here, which as you can tell, I'm using a lighter band here because the band is wrapped rather than um, a single strand, it's a double strand. So basically doubles the difficulty level of the band there. So me stepping away here, pulling it straight up. Ooh, just like so. Which this feels really good. Change the position a little bit since you have kind of like two handles. It's almost like using dumbbells in a way rather than like a barbell with uh, kind of that anchor band on your feet when you're just using one end of the loop there. It's pretty much two different ways. Um, each way feels really good in their own right, but of course having the anchor uh, with the door here, it's kind of cool to be able to use it. So clearly I don't have the strength level that Brandon does, and that's why the bands are so great because there's several ways you can set them up depending on your difficulty level. So and that's what I'm going to do right now. Uh, we actually have it in a tie on the anchor instead of a wrap like he did, which makes it a little bit easier. And that's another reason why I love the bands, because they're quick and easy to adjust depending on your needs. We are done with the major compound movements. Now we're onto the isolation movements, which is gonna be the triceps next, the tricep pushdowns, and we're gonna be using the door anchor again. I'm gonna wrap the band, make sure there's enough tension on there. Just slightly step back, and we're gonna be extending the elbows. Very easy setup, as you can see. Get that really good squeeze in the triceps. Oh, man. What I love about the bands is that when you get that nice peak contraction, that's where the band is at its highest resistance. So you really get that good mind-muscle connection. You really feel that burn. You feel the muscles working. Oh, and it just feels so damn good. This is like what the buff dude's dreams are made of right here. <laughs> oh. And of course, with 15 repetitions, you really feel that burn as well. We're done with the triceps, on to the biceps. And the biceps, the good thing about this exercise, the alternating um, curls, you don't need the anchor. You really just need yourself. You can definitely use the anchor, which you would be putting it at a, uh, a low position here. So much like we did with the upright rows and the incline press, so a low position. You can wrap the band around, and now all of a sudden you're set up for the alternating bicep curls. Boom, already ready, but let's say you don't have an anchor. Obviously there's other ways to do it. You can just use your feet as the anchor. So a double anchor here can be used the same way in the standing position, just like so. And let's say maybe this weight is a little too difficult. Let's say Michaela's like, eh, the resistance is a little too high for me. You can just do a single anchor here and you can go just like so. Is he ever gonna stop? Nope, I was gonna let that play out for a long time. Hey, if the shot looks good, you let it play out. That's the rule. Last exercise, changing the anchor position once again, which is gonna be at the high position here, and we're gonna be doing some crunches. You can wrap them or time, depending on you know the resistance you want. Obviously with the wrap, like we said before, it's gonna be a little bit higher resistance, and then with the tie, boom, a little bit less. So with the tie, pretty simple. Um, just gonna be grabbing the band here, getting on your knees, um, and kind of like step a little bit away from the anchored position here, and you're gonna be putting the band just kind of like behind your head, like you can do a crunch, and then flexing in the spine, giving that good squeeze in the abs, and then extending it up, and then flexing it back. <sighs> that was the last day of stage two, the beginner stage. Felt really damn good, and honestly, man, these door anchors are a lifesaver, especially if you don't have a power rack like we do back here. Loved using it. I think we'll continue to use it, honestly, because 
they just feel really damn good and they're just a really easy setup and it just goes to show you that you don't need much to have an amazing workout. Thank you, Michaela, for joining me for this workout. The next stage is gonna be the advanced version of this stage. It's gonna be the 2.5 stage, and it's gonna be Hudson and me. So Hudson's coming back. We're gonna have some pretty intense workouts, and we're gonna be going balls to the wall, baby. So hopefully you guys are ready, and thanks for joining us for this stage, for this workout, and we're gonna see you soon. So as always, stay buff. Yeah.